So Watches and Wonders just started and I've been seeing like crazy videos and videos on YouTube of what Rolex released and what Tudor, uh, Grand Seiko, Tag Heuer, Cartier and all other brands uh, had released. This is just the first day so the brands are going to be releasing uh, slowly and slowly in their social media the new watches that they are unveiling uh, today. So I want to start talking about Rolex and just the one watch that matters to me. The other thing for me that is Rolex that is making a statement that it is a luxury uh, watch and that's it. Uh, I think that Rolex is, is uh, giving deliberately the spotlight to Tudor this year and Rolex is standing down and just releasing some luxury like feeling much more and more rich in gold and diamonds and stuff and just releasing one in steel because let's face it past uh, watches and wonders was a lot of uh, releases from of stainless steel watches and new colors and stuff and fun watches but now we have just the gmt master 2 and is the return of the black dial and black bezel of course this bezel is two-tone now it is a black bezel with a a combination of a gray. This is amazing because I always liked better the black version of this GMT Master 2. As a matter of fact, I was going to have or, you know, search for a GMT Master 2, uh, but in the black bezel uh, iteration. Now, I am very pleased that, that Rolex released this one in the Oyster Bracelet and the Jubilee Bracelet, and it looks fantastic with the same green texting and green GMT hand. Uh, that the black and black bezel GMT Master 2 had in before. So now we move on to Tudor and Tudor is, uh, you know, one of the most anticipated uh, releases uh, for this year and every single year that Watches and Wonders has started. So Tudor released a incredible Black Bay 58 GMT with a Metascarometer certified version uh, movement and this is amazing. I really like the coloring that it has the Coke. And I actually, I don't know if I said it on a video, but I actually predicted this with my friends and discussed that this, that the patent for the Coke bezel was indeed for Tudor, not for Rolex. So the Tudor GMT Coke, this is amazing because we have this new uh, movement, which is Master Chronometer certified. It is 12.8 millimeters in, in thickness. So this is the best part of this watch. It's not thick. It is less thicker than 13 millimeters. So this, is, this makes me very happy because Tudor, has been known to not to do their watches in a slim factor. I know that they want to be a rough and tough watch, a very tooly watch, but this is just annoying that they release every single watch they release is very, very thick. Now with the 54, with the 58, and with the GMT 58, this is amazing. 12.8 millimeters in thickness is incredible. 39 millimeters in diameter, 20 millimeters lock width. So this is incredible. So it has a Coke bezel, but it has a with gilt accents. So it's a very creamy uh, kind of watch and it, it very inspires uh, of the Coke of the past. So the one next watch that for me that really matters is the new Black Bay Heritage that uh, has no gilt accents. So it is a very monochrome, boring, black dial, black bezel, white indices and white uh, accents on the bezel. This is amazing. I predicted this back in 2023, uh, a year ago when in Watches and Wonders Tudor released the burgundy version. I said that this one is going to come in black and it would be an incredible contender for a Rolex Submariner. And I said that I might replace my Submariner with this one. Well, I have news. I had sold my Rolex Submariner and I'm trying to get now this maybe I'll, I'll I'll debate which one, but I'll maybe get the new Black Bay Heritage in black or the Black Bay 58 GMT or maybe both. Who knows? Let's see what happens in the future. I had to see this one's in person. The next thing that matters for me is that Cartier released a new Tartu Mono Pusher that is incredible. I think that we haven't seen that one in a, in a while, and they released a Cartier Santos. Uh, Dumont in a red dial, but the indices are 
backwards. It's kind of weird. It's cool. Uh, and I had to see that one in person and maybe I'm not going to see it ever because it's going to be like a very, very sought after watch. And they actually released a new Santos de Cartier in a new dual time version. I think that this is going to be just in the large version, I think, because of the movement and the dial that has to be spacious to have dual times. Uh, but I've only seen this one in the uh, gray variant dial. It's just amazing and it's incredible that Katya is playing with its watches and doing well for it. And now they released a new Santos de Cartier medium in a kind of like brown dial and somber style. It looks amazing. I really like it, but I still prefer the white dial. Last but not least, Tag Heuer released a 39 millimeter glass box Carrera with bracelet. So now this tells me that the Carreras, which they released prior to this one, are going to have, or maybe you can order a new bracelet for that. So I'm very excited for this and it looks incredibly good. I really like it. So yeah, guys, this has been the only watches that I've actually liked from what I've seen so far from Watches and Wonders. I gotta see what other brands are you know, releasing. I haven't seen something that really speaks to me from Grand Seiko or uh, Ores or other brands that I love. For me, this is what matters right now. I don't care about the gold, all golds and so Daytonas and stuff, uh, Rolex, you know, released. I don't care about the 1908 in platinum. I really don't care. So this is what I liked and this is what it really really matters to me. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. It really does help and we would like to do that. Don't worry about it. Thank you for watching anyway. I'm Andy and I'll be here spending time watching time.